Hey guys, so today I decided to do a little bit more of a bold look. I did this purpley mauve cut crease with this bold purple lip. And so if you want to know how I achieved this look, then please keep watching. Okay, so first I'm going to prime my eyes with Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. And just blend it out with a brush. And to set that, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Okay, I just finished this eye just to save more time. So, what I did, I took Unexpected from Makeup Geek, and I'm going to keep it pretty high. I'm kind of flicking this color out towards the tail of the brow as well. Also with this unexpected shade, I'm going to mix it just a little bit with this um, purple shade right here from this Tarte palette. And I'm doing really light pressure with this because you kind of want it to be blown out and fade out into this color. Okay, now from the same palette, I'm going to take this I'm going to take this brown right here and put that right below this purpley color. And by flicking it out right now, it'll just help you later on with the purple we're going to go in to cut the crease. I'm just going to blend that together. Now I'm going to take the Morphe 35D. And I'm going to be taking this purple shade right here. And I'm going to take this eyeliner brush. It's like really small and precise to um, cut the crease. I'm going to blend those together just a little bit. Okay, this next step is where you can really clean up any mistakes you made or if you got any on the lid. And I'm going to be using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm going to use a synthetic hair brush for this. And I'm going to take this all the way to the tail of the brow, like right underneath where we cut the crease. Just to really define it. Initially, I used the pink champagne uh, color from Anastasia Beverly Hills, but it wasn't showing up as much as I wanted it to. So I'm going to take this color right here from the Manny and Makeup Geek collab and just put that all over the lid. Okay, I'm going to do my wing liner off camera just because when I do it, it's I forgot a little bit and then I'm gonna apply lashes as well and I'll be right back 
All right, now for the face, I'm going to prime with the Smashbox Primer Water and the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer. And for the smoothing primer, I'm just going to mainly put it in my T-zone. And for foundation, I'm going to use the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Conceal. I'm just blend it all out. And for concealer, I'm going to take the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, and I'm using the shade Medium Light Neutral. Just blending it out with a damp beauty blender. And I'm gonna bake with the, again, the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I look crazy, but it will all come together. Now for my brows, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in medium brown. Okay, and to set that, I'm going to use the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. Now I'm going to dust that powder away. And I'm also going to set my entire face using that same exact powder. Okay, now I'm just going to finish up the eyes and then I'll finish the face and do the lips and we're done. I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs eyeliner, just a black liner, and just put that in my lower waterline. I'm going to take that purple shade from the Morphe palette we used to cut the crease and just put that on the lower lash line. And then I'm going to blend that out with the Makeup Geek Shadow Unexpected and mix this shade and this shade from the Tarte Palette. Okay, and for the Brow Bone Highlight, I'm just going to take this matte white cream shade. Then I'm just going to apply some mascara to my lower lashes. And for contour, I'm going to use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette.
Okay, for blush, I'm gonna be using MAC Cantaloupe. And for highlight, I'm gonna be using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. Okay, so I'm gonna do a bold lip, and I'm gonna use the ColourPop Lippy Stick in Leather. Okay, and for like an ombre effect, I'm gonna use um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Pure Hollywood and just put that in the center. I'm gonna blend that out with my finger. Okay. So this is the completed look. I hope you liked it, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Also, if you have any requests or anything, just leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to check that out.